All right, coach. First things first, congratulations. Team trophy. You guys are going to be taking that back to Raleigh yes. with you. Are you excited about that? Extremely. Appreciate the uh, comments on that. Yeah, no, that's ex extremely rewarding to this team. Um, coming in here, you know, we felt like it was realistic to put ourselves in position for that. And we knew we had to have a lot of things go right. And then in this tournament, it's such a roller coaster. A couple guys get knocked off, a couple guys got banged up. And uh, and then you got Tariq Wilson who gets hot and he scores a lot of points for us. So it put us right back in position. And a couple other guys stepped up big time tonight. How do you see it? How do you see the talent there out of Steubenville, Ohio? The Ohio River Valley, never a state champ in Ohio. How do you see it? You got an eye for it. How would you see it? Um, you know, obviously there's a lot of talented kids out there. And at the end of the day, it's more what we're looking for in our philosophy and our program. Kids that are willing to do some extra things outside our room that put themselves in position to be successful right away. So yeah, the talent's one thing, but I think it's the mentality of the kid and fitting our culture, what we're looking for. It's really kind of making things work for these guys. Machiavelli is from North Carolina. He's from North Carolina, one time state. That's why that was so, I was so happy for the kid because he came to NC State, he had a losing record his first year. Um, didn't really know how to wrestle. He started wrestling his freshman year in high school. He made a lot of mistakes, but the kid is driven and has so much will and does everything right to put himself in this position and to finally go get that win uh, when he lost the guy twice in the year. It was He did it at the right time. I mean, you probably wanted Colin Moore based on the match with the, at the duel. Yeah, I mean, you can always analyze better matchups. When kids show up again, and it's a different match. So it was whoever you threw out there, you knew it was going to be a battle in the national finals. And for him to step up and get that win was just really rewarding because two great competitors going out there and leaving it all on the mat and to come up on the winning side is, uh, was nice for him to finally get that. And then look at Jack. He's gone. Him and Machiavelli are both yep. gone. But you also have a returning number one seed yeah. who's undefeated. Hayden had a great season. Yeah. He said an just, just got him, man. He said he got me. Uh, he's good. I mean, you're a national champ for a reason. So when he loses somebody like that, there's no shame in the game. But it's got to motivate him to get better. He knows that, and that's what's going to make him a national champ is he's got to get better. Um, and he does. He does everything right, too. But it's going to take a little time and keep working on some technique. And we'll be back training in the next week or two and uh, moving forward for next year for him. The thing with you is, Jack, you had the situation where he was the backup. Yeah. Remember that midway through the year thing where you, yeah. you, cut, you pulled him and he's a freshman? All-American, yeah. right? You kind of had the same thing with Tariq. He was Sim the backup. Similar situation. He lost twice to uh, Jamel Morris, who is really good himself. We just felt like his style at the end of the year would have been a little better in these positions, and uh, I think it was obviously the right choice for us coming through this tournament, finishing third. I think it put us in that, in that kind of position. How huge is your depth that you've built at NC State? It's incredible. I and mean, we're talking about Tariq Wilson takes third in the NCAA. He's the backup, right? And you have the similar situation. What's it, what's it speak to the depth? Uh, I, it's the guys in the room training. They're all on the same page. So if we do have to make some moves in our lineup, we have guys that are going to be ready to step in at any given time. And uh, that's what's making our program special is everybody wants to win and everybody wants to see other guys on the team win. And uh, every guy in there is, you know, they're in there for the team, not just themselves. Okay, the Italy thing. Yeah. I, I mean, in hindsight, it looks like it was a genius move for you. Now, if you're Oklahoma State, it's probably not a genius move for them. What, what, did that benefit you? What did that do for you? And, and, and we, how did you We do changed that? our training up completely this year um, from preseason to middle of the year to postseason. I did a 180 on our training because I felt like we came to this tournament the last couple of years and we're. I wouldn't say we underachieved, but I don't think we wrestled our best and we were a little flat. Um, and we changed it up. And you'll never have it perfect because you're going to have other guys that have better days than others. Um, but I felt like we finally had everybody wrestling close to their best and put them in the position to succeed. Um, so yeah, I, I think it goes back to the breaks that we took going to Italy. It was like a two-week break that we were we were training, but at the same time it was something different and gave these guys a little break in the middle of the season. You look like a genius after this tournament, man. Yeah. How do you do it continually? You know, Quiz it's follows not, you. It's incredible. How do you do it? It's it's not definitely not myself. Uh, you know, I've had great people around me um, from the staff that we have now to having. Frank Beasley that was here a year ago, one of the best coaches in the country, to Dennis Papadatos who was with me at Binghamton who just had his first All-American. So I've been fortunate enough to have really good people that have done great things for me. Um, and obviously when you're in the front, sometimes you get the, the good, the bad, and the ugly. And uh, finally today we get a little bit of the good. So um, no, just blessed to be around good, great people and good kids. And, and now 
obviously having an AD that likes wrestling and supports it, it's uh, it's all come together. What's the skip and the crew going to do tonight? <laughs> skip. So real quick, the skip <laughs> is from Nick Wisdowski and those guys making a bet with me uh, from after one of the dual meets that we won. I had to change the Twitter name. Now I can't change it. So um, we're going to have our social. we got about 200 people showing up to it, and uh, we're going to go over there and just celebrate the end of the year. All right, Coach. It's been fabulous watching your guys, man. Appreciate it. Keep getting it done. Keep climbing the ladder. And congratulations. Thank you.